The opening strains of Jurassic Park kicked off the U.S. Army Field Band summer concert finale Saturday evening. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. We'll have more with the band in a moment. Also in this edition, September is Suicide Prevention Month. Fort Meade participates in the BWI Youth Partnership and some news for job seekers. These stories and more, but first you might have noticed our new ticker at the bottom of the screen. Hopefully we'll be able to pack in more information in these five minutes on each edition of Mead Week. Meanwhile, if you're a commuter, you no doubt noticed an increase in traffic with kids returning to school. We spoke with Installation Safety Officer Kirk Fector, who had some tips for Fort Meade drivers. Drivers need to plan ahead. Uh, whatever time it used to take them, now there's children. So plan accordingly. Get up a little earlier, start your day a little earlier so you don't have to rush. Plan ahead. And if you're late, just be late. Okay? One day should be understandable versus the risk of an accident. Mainly the awareness. And as I always say, be a student. Learn a few things, pay attention, and just add that to your uh, quiver of arrows. One more arrow that you can shoot at the wrists and eliminate them. Mr. Fector also wanted to remind everyone that the safety office is now located in building 8501 and that if you see a safety issue, you should report it. In other news, in what they hope becomes an annual event, the BWI Business Partnership and the Maritime Institute recently hosted the first BWI Summer Youth Initiative. Here's BWI Business Partnership Executive Director Linda Green. It's bringing 50 uh, young folks from Baltimore City out to this area to find out all the opportunities there are, all the jobs that there are here, all the exciting things that they can do. And hopefully we'll capture their imagination and we'll give them some hope that they could sometime be a pilot, fly a plane, uh, work at Fort Meade, do all kinds of things that uh, are great opportunities for a career. While the program did focus on aviation, with the kids getting a myriad of opportunities to see behind the scenes at the airport, Fort Meade was also attracted to program organizers. We thought that Fort George G. Meade would be a perfect location to be included, especially with the 52,000 um, employees that are on the installation. And this will give the youth a really good idea of all the different kinds of jobs that are around. The BWI Business Partnership hopes to make this an annual event. If so, Fort Meade should be actively involved. Elsewhere, in a related story, Club Meade is hosting the 6th Annual Fort Meade Tech Expo on Thursday, September 3rd from 10 to 2. Sponsored by the United States Army Intelligence and Security Command, the expo is an opportunity for everyone in the community to see some of the latest technology and see what kinds of jobs and careers are available. Dozens of companies and schools will be on hand with information on a range of career fields from information technology to audio video to digital publishing. For more information, go to www.federalevents.com. Once again, the Fort Meade Tech Expo is September 3rd at Club Meade. Meanwhile, as we mentioned in the open, the United States Army Field Band, based right here at Fort Meade, wrapped up their annual summer concert series this past Saturday. The finale featured the concert band and soldiers chorus with an assist from concert band alumni. Although the summer series is over, their involvement in the community doesn't end there. We'll be going into some schools in the surrounding counties, in Howard County, Anne Arundel County, and Montgomery County, and demonstrate all of the instruments that the students might learn to play when they join band in their fourth and fifth grade years. So they'll get to hear each instrument performed by professional musicians from the United States Army Field Band, and then they get to see if that instrument really speaks to them and something they can get excited about. Each school generally starts start students on the same instrumentation, the standard band instrumentation. So we'll bring one of every instrument that they might find in the band. So we'll bring a flute, a clarinet, sometimes we'll bring the double reed instruments, the oboe and bassoon, we'll bring a saxophone, and then in the brass family we'll bring the trumpet, the French horn, a trombone, euphonium, which is what I play, and a tuba, and we'll also demonstrate percussion instruments. So one soldier for each instrument will come and demonstrate a little bit of a melody or something fun for the students to hear, and then that sort of gets them pumped up and excited and helps them decide what instrument will be best for them to learn to play. The demonstrations start this week for Fort Meade Youth on August 25th at Burba Cottage. The demo is part of the Post Library Summer Reading Program. One final note, September is Suicide Prevention Month. Fort Meade has plans for a full slate of activities including an installation run on 9-11. There's also a special program planned for Monday, September 28th. Dr. Donna Barnes, a suicidologist from Howard University Medical School, will be the guest speaker. Dr. Barnes currently serves on the Military Task Force for the National Alliance for Suicide Prevention. The program is scheduled for September 28th from 9 to noon at the McGill Training Center. And that's it for this edition. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great Mead week.